Welcome to Prepared Leaders, where we'll teach you the secret formula you have been missing when it comes to self-improvement and some leadership tips that will help you climb the ladder of success. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to care less about what other people think of you. I have been reading the comments lately and I am now aware that many individuals have the same issue. I sincerely hope that this improves the situation on the internet. I recently finished reading Mark Manson's book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. The point is to understand that life is too short and there are far too many things to worry about than to worry about nothing at all. It's crucial to choose carefully what you care about. So just decide to care about the things that are real, relevant, and significant to you. Let's say your present life goals are to maintain connections, do well in school, and perhaps exercise every day. Treat them as a priority if those are your top priorities. Do not think about what other people say. Focusing on what other people might be thinking of you is not going to help you achieve your goals. Instead, it will just serve to divert you from your objectives and top priorities. When you don't have your objectives and goals in life established, it's simple to get drawn into gossip and be distracted by what other people think. Establishing your priorities and goals will help you stop caring about what other people think. The first piece of advice is to be clear about your goals and to generally comprehend them. It won't really matter if someone has a bad opinion about you, because in reality, it won't matter to them. So why bother? Once your priorities and objectives have been determined, establish a more meaningful perspective on how other people's perceptions of you could affect your ability to accomplish your goals and stay committed to your values. Decide to choose not to care so much about what other people think. You don't really gain anything by worrying or worrying about what other people think. And before we continue, I'll be giving you time to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. And let's continue. Keep in mind that other people's opinions are their business, not yours. So be sincere with yourself and attempt to pinpoint what makes you concerned about what other people think of you. Do you want our approval? Do you need to face any insecurities you have? If you must know, I once bench pressed 155 pounds while working out by myself. I was on my last set and last rep of 12 and I was unable to raise the bar again. I was impaled. So as my arms were resting, I let it rest on my chest before attempting to push it up once more. I then considered whether I might be able to roll it. However, doing so with 105 pounds was really difficult for my hips. Instead, I turned to face the gym, which was essentially deserted, and I let out a DPL. Hey, hopefully the guy who was making out with the gym's lone female patron in the corner will hear me. He came over and assisted me in raising the bar again because I was feeling quite uncomfortable. I took a month-long break from going to the gym. I was extremely irrational because we all go to the gym for one primary purpose. And I was afraid I would run into that person again and he would make fun of me. So I made the decision that I needed to return to the gym since I wouldn't continue to grow with the weights I had at home. I also thought it was incredibly ridiculous not to go back to the gym because of him. And once I realized this, I began lifting again. If something in your life is making you feel insecure, remember that nobody is perfect. Accept your shortcomings as a part of who you are. And that everyone has both strengths and limitations. Therefore, I think we can all agree that it would be wiser to comprehend them rather than ignore them. By acting in a way that appeals to the opinions of others, you would be wronging both yourself and other people. I believe this is the case since you would not be reaching your full potential. We are all flawed, as Trident Lion noted. In the book, Trident Lion said, We all have shortcomings, which the author Mark Manson also states in the description. The backwards law is a philosophical idea that philosopher Alan Watts described. 
In essence, it asserts that accepting a terrible experience is a positive experience, whereas desiring a positive experience is a negative experience. Because some things are under our control and some are not, this idea makes sense. There is no value or true care because we cannot influence other people's thoughts. When you want a good experience, you are actually supporting the notion that you don't have one. As a result, you are upset because your desired outcome didn't occur. Use this law's opposite to help you care less about what other people think because it is a good feeling to accept what happened and move on. Others may have negative thoughts about you, but so what? You must accept and move on because there is no point in suffering because of what another person is thinking. Additionally, people care more about themselves than about other people in life. Since we are all emotional beings, we are able to transfer our emotional states to one another. Even our opinions and ideas about other people will change depending on the emotional state we are experiencing at that particular time. So if someone does have a negative opinion of you, remember that they most likely also have a negative opinion of themselves. Instead of succumbing to other suffering states, choose to encourage others who may be attempting to bring you down with your actions rather than your words and by refusing to give in to their suffering states. Unfortunately, there are people in the world who would prefer that you fail or lead an unfulfilling life of mediocrity than that you succeed. Occasionally, these people are even our closest friends and family members. Therefore, don't let anyone's ideas or opinions prevent you from reaching your full potential. As Zig Ziglar once said, if you don't have a plan, someone else will make one for you, and it won't be very good. Some other people you consider your fans are not even your supporters. They are those who are encouraging and applauding your failure. Take inspiration from this reality and go out to disprove it. Adversity and challenges enable you to grow stronger, so embrace them. Negative opinions and criticism can be seen as a challenge that leads to positive change. Learn to say no and don't let other people's opinions of you ruin your day or your thoughts. For example, I won't let Katie's disdain for shorter hair influence my decision to get a haircut. It's important to say no to yourself as well as to people and activities that interfere with your goals and priorities. No, I won't let that unpleasant event or the grumpiness of someone else affect how I feel. I am in charge of my feelings. What you're going to do next is the bigger question though. Would you continue to regard people less than yourself and care more about what others say or will you change? Because there are simply too many things in life to care about instead of caring about everything. Choose to care about only the ones that are genuine, urgent, and significant. Consider this Tony Robbins proverb, progress is optional, change is inescapable. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and turn on the notification bell so you'll know when I upload new content. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll see you all in my next video.